The problem that I discovered with the 9x receiver, it will hold the last value at the point where it loses um, the signal. So I'm going to turn the power off on the transmitter and this is the value that it holds and it will continue to to send that until the until the uh, power is turned back on in the transmitter now I can hold that to 17 something like or whatever and it will hold that value until it until the power returns back on the transmitter or it regains the signal And this is true also with channel 5. Okay. Now channel, the other channels, when the power is turned off on the transmitter, they go off. I have a bench test set up here uh, which comprises of my um, uh, flight controller uh, is actually not used for flight it's used for nothing but bench testing where I have a, a, a Wii Motion gyro and a MMA 7455 um, accelerator uh, on a breadboarded um, uh, CPU um, I have this uh, PPM encoder um, that the code was uh, given to me by uh, Doughboy and it works um, uh, extremely well um, and it's connected to the Turnigy uh, 9X um, RX. Um, here is the um, situation. I'm going to pan the camera around to uh, the oscilloscope. Now, if you notice, we have eight. We well, actually have nine pulses. Now, I'm going to power off the transmitter. And if you notice, it doesn't go dead. It continues the Turnigy. 9x still continues to output uh, 4 and channel 5. So what happens is, is that this causes the flight controller to not recognize that there has been a signal loss because there, the PPM stream is still present. Now I'm going to turn the transmitter back on and there's the full pulse train. Now here's the major problem and I, I will show it in a second. When I turn the power off the pulse train shifts. Channel 5 now becomes channel 1. Channel 2 is now well channel 5 then becomes channel 2 and so when the when the uh, software, the flight controller, interprets this, it's seeing roll and throttle. It just so happens that on this trans, on this RX, channel two is throttle. The throttle value at the time that it was turned off is 1045, and I'll show that in the Wii console in a moment. If that value happened, would have happened to been 1750 or 1850, then we would have a wide open throttle condition. Okay, I have the multi Wii, the latest uh, development version. Um, loaded up. I did some more extensive uh, testing. It comes to find out that the problem is not 
in the latest development version but it is in um, the previous 2.1 so um, uh, but let me show what is actually um, happening here now if I arm um, the copter and I run the throttle up to say 1500 etc um, we have um, normal operation now if the RX uh, loses a signal the fail, fail safe kicks in um, as it should and if uh, the signal returns uh, normal operations um, uh, resume now if I set my channel 5 to um, 1870 which is um, uh, above um, in the pulse train channel 5 will move to um, to the throttle channel now when I act when I disable the uh, transmitter the throttle also shifts to 1870 but the failsafe kicked in and took the throttle back down to 1350 which is uh, preset in the uh, config file so this is working properly however I want to emphasize that I did test uh, the 2.1 uh, the official release and uh, this does not happen in the uh, 2.1 now as you can see after the timeout has um, has uh, taken place and the the failsafe timeout the throttle is is now at 1874 the same as the um, auxiliary channel so um, uh, with these RXs they don't they hold the last uh, value um, to when they lost a uh, signal. Now if I turn the transmitter back on okay the throttle is uh, back to normal.